are you doing? Good. I'm doing very good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well myself. Good. You just, yeah, I had a good week. Can't complain about it. Nice. Right. I myself have to. How are you feeling about this weather? Oh, I'm loving this weather. I'm, oh, okay. I'm so glad to be wearing this jacket. I, this heat has been killing me, but definitely oh, yeah. glad for some cooler weather and this fall season. Is I agree, fall is personally my favorite. I'm not a, a cold person or a hot person. I like to be like yeah. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, it's nice to meet you today. Um, I'll be conducting an interview. Um, just to quickly give you a run about myself, my name is Amaya Thomas. Um, I'm the senior intake manager here at Regenerative Labs. I've been working here for over five years. Um, I started in sales, just like you are trying to do, um, and I worked my way up the ladder um, over the course of the last two years and then just stepped up to this position. So, I also wanted to let you know that it's something that you were able to something that is something that we shoot for uh, starting out if you do have experience and get you up to the next level um, and that's enough about me let's get into the interview so this will be about 15 to 20 minutes um, just asking some probing questions to get to know you on a deeper level um, here at Regenerative Labs we like to connect with you personally um, and professionally so just to know who you are as a person and your goals and potential um, so starting out this position is offering 70,000 a year um, and looking over your resume with your experience, I feel like that would suit you. Um, there is room for growth or room for change if that's something you'd like to discuss. Um, and here at our company, we offer companies with competitive rates. Um, we also have 401k opportunities, health, and benefit as well. Does that sound like something that you wish to get That's awesome. Yeah, All that's right. great. <laughs> great to hear. All right, so we're just going to get started. Um, you applied for the medical sales rep, so tell me a little bit about yourself and what made this company um, appeal to you. Yeah, for sure. So I'll just start off too. My name, my name, full name, Paul Hernandez. And I think the first thing that kind of grabbed this position of sales is my father. He is a financial advisor for a company called Voya, and he works a lot, a lot with sales. And I've always kind of seen him do his job and really perform well. He he got his communications degree, which kind of followed me get my communications degree as well. And I'm currently a student at UCM trying to get that degree as well as a minor in construction management. And one thing that also really entails me about this job is it's sports medicine and I have had a very strong background in sports. I'm a student athlete at UCM. I'm a part of the wrestling team and have always been affiliated with sports so I kind of understand the aches and pains that other athletes feel and I want to be able to kind of build relationships with clients and I understand where they're coming from and I, I, I love the product that you guys sell and I want to I help the people out at the end of the day. So, yeah. Okay, I love that <laughs> and I love that you took the inspiration from your father and you wanted to follow him. Um, on the topic, you said um, about the wrestling team. So I saw on your resume that you were nominated as the Blue Blood for your wrestling team. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so the Blue Blood Award was an award that uh, my high school would give out, and it was basically just a leadership award. And okay. the Blue Blood Award came, our um, athletic director, he started it because, I forget what college it was, but I think it was North Carolina mm -hmm. because they're blue, I'm pretty sure. But <laughs> they would do they would do a similar award, award of Blue Blood, and so I got, I got Blue Blood in my veins. Like, that, that's the guy, that's the man, that, that's the person that everyone's supposed to look up to. Okay. So in that wrestling team, the coach, all it was peer nominated, so everyone on my wrestling team would vote on who they thought what the blue blood was, and I was voted very, very thankfully, and I, I come from a background where I was put in leadership positions, so it was a, it was a great experience for sure. I was definitely, definitely honored to, honored to have that award. That is great. Yeah. Um, I love that you were nominated for that. Also, on the topic of that, I see that you have a lot of leadership skills, as you said. So what are some um, qualities or characteristics that you would consider yourself to have as a leader? Right, for sure. I think one of the first things of my characteristics is I'm a very disciplined person. And okay. I try to have things that I want to accomplish every day. I have, I have goals that I see, and I want to take the action every day to achieve those goals. So whether, for example, something I do every day, I wake up, and the first thing I do is I go for a run. Then I come back, I journal, after I'm done journaling, then I, then I can start my day, shower, get ready for the day. My mind's clear, I'm ready to go. And those two things alone are, they boost my day and just kind of kind of little things I do too for talking about discipline as well is me and my roommate, we actually have a pull-up bar over our bathroom. And okay. before we before we go into the bathroom, we have to hit five pull-ups or else we can't go in the bathroom. I love that. It helps, <laughs> yeah, it helps that I have them there. We kind of help hold each other accountable, which, which helps. But... Yeah, for sure, and another one too, I think I'm a, I'm a very hard worker. If I have a goal in my mind, I'm gonna do anything it takes to achieve that goal. And I think a lot of, a lot of my characteristics do come from my wrestling background. I've been, I've been kind of thrown in, a, in tough environments where I'm training and constantly having to push past my limits. Okay. And that has kind of set me up to be a hard worker, to be a dis disciplined man, to be someone who, who can lead by 
campaign culture. That's one of the things I, I, I want to mention too about, about leadership is, you know, uh, one of the things that my coach has talked about that really resonates with me is because sometimes I'm not always a super vocal leader, but he would always say, lead by example. So do everything right, train at your 100%, do, do all the little things right, and everyone, everyone will see, everyone will follow. So I believe that, and that's the kind of man I want to be for sure. I absolutely love that. And here at Reader Lab, that's actually what we're looking for someone who is going to take charge, um, set the standard here. That is absolutely what we're looking for with this position. So I really love that. I really appreciate that. Um, so with that, um, describe a time in your last position where you struggled with the task or struggling here at the circuit, and how did you fix it? For sure. So I would definitely say a job where I, I found myself with a lot of struggles in general was not this, this last summer, but two summers ago and the summer following that one, I was a pool builder. Okay. And a lot of times on a project, everything would be going smooth, but then a, just a random problem would happen. And one of those problems was we laid pool creek in the whole entire pool, but it rained the next day. And all the concrete got ruined, there was water under the concrete. So that's kind of a conversation with the boss where he comes to me and he's like, hey, I'm sorry. I know this mistake is out of your control, but we gotta kind of we gotta kind of lock in, we gotta get this done. I need you to take out all the concrete and we gotta redo it again today. So it's it's a challenge, but I like I like those challenges. I wanna I wanna embrace those those opportunities and challenges. I, I think that's a place where I thrive. I, I wanna I wanna that was an opportunity for me to impress my boss where he kind of understands my mindset where okay, yeah, I am I'm gonna I'm gonna bust it out, I'm gonna get it done, and that's that's the kind of mentality I want to bring here too at Regenerative Labs for sure. I love that. Okay. I love all your responses and I appreciate your honesty and your follow through with telling me all these things about yourself. Um, what made you want to go into sales specifically and not marketing? Because it sounds like you also have some right. good marketing um, qualities too. So. Right. Yeah. So again, too, my, my father was, was a big role from that. And also um, my degree communications, I think I, I really want to use that degree to my fullest. You know, I've, I've, I've been in some classes where I've been able to learn a lot of valuable information. I'm in a professional communications class right now. I've, I've worked in small teams and groups, and I've done, I've done a lot of different, different things to kind of build my communication skills. So I like that aspect of being able to connect with my client, communicate with them, and then sell a product that I'm proud to represent as well. I know you talked about your dad a little bit. What qualities of your dad made you inspired by him? Absolutely, that's a that's a great question. I actually really like that question. I think I'm inspired by my dad on so many different levels, but one of the things I, I really took away from my father is to always always be the man to do what others won't do. Okay. And from a young age, my dad put me in combat sports, which I think it's, it's, it's really made me who I am. It's, it's, it's really a part of my life, something I wanna pursue in the future as well, kind of have a, have a career in, in, the, in that sports. And he, he taught me lessons. He was, he was my judo and jiu-jitsu coach, and he also coached me a little bit in boxing. And throughout those lessons, there would be times where I would be getting beat up a little bit, and he would always use that as a, a way to learn. Never, he would always tell me, you know, you don't, in any time I would lose, you don't, there is no wins and losses. You either win or you learn lose, take it as an opportunity to learn, evaluate yourself, come back, work hard, and then perform again. You'll always you'll always have another opportunity to perform. So never be down on yourself. But yeah, I could talk about talk about inspiration from my dad forever for sure. I love that and I love that you took those qualities from him and you applied them to yourself. And right. it sounds like you've applied right. them to yourself professionally as well. Um, with those questions I do love the responses and um, I think your dad sounds like a pretty good guy. It sounds like he's reflecting on you. So um, now I just wanted to get into a couple deeper questions um, to really know you as a person. Um, so first, do you feel like it is better to be perfect and late or good and on time? I'm asking you this because you were talking about being punctual and doing what others don't do. And I know this um, this company and the, the pace that we go at is pretty fast paced. So we know the things that you'll have to do with working with the clients that you get because um, you do get some pretty top performing medical companies asking us to, you know, put out their products. Right, absolutely. Um, I think being on time is one of one of the most important attributes. It, it it makes a great first impression and it makes a statement to who you are. It's something my my coaches in football and wrestling, honestly, every coach that I've had. And okay. one of the rules on on one of my football teams was you have to be 15 minutes early. Yeah. Because if you weren't ready at 15 minutes early doing a little something on the side, they make you run. So 
So you, I learned from 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 there to okay, I gotta always I gotta always be early. I gotta be on time. Discipline, exactly, just like we were talking about earlier. So I would definitely say being on time and and once you're on time, being ready to do a perfect job. So. <laughs> So it sounds like with your uh, past career with laying concrete and everything, and then as you said with your team, um, there was a lot of work that you had to do, and you had to you know step up with others where to take that initiative. So with that, this job is very fast paced, and um, you will be doing your own sales and getting you up to pro and prep for everything that you will be submitting to the companies. Um, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your strengths and weaknesses? And for this company, do you feel like you'd be able to apply? Absolutely. I would have to say that I'm able, I would, I would rate myself a nine, a nine to 10 area, nine, nine being I can, I can handle stress, I can handle pressure. I've, I've learned again, I've, I keep, I know I keep talking about my, my sports a lot, but yeah. it, it really has made me who I am and I've learned to handle the pressure. I think one of my, one of my most accomplishments I'm most proud of is my senior year. I was able to win a state championship for my school, and there was a lot of prep, obviously, physically, but I had a really good coach, a really good mentor of mine, and he really helped train my mind to, he would he would talk to me a lot, and he, he would sit me down and he'd say, okay, yes, this is physical, yes, you're gonna have to be in shape, yes, your skills are gonna have to, you're gonna have to be able to wrestle, but you have to be prepared to compete in front of 11,000 11, people, and you have to be ready to arise to the occasion told everybody in your school that, hey, you're going to do this thing. Everybody is expecting you to do this. Are you going to be able to do it? And he would, he would help mold my mind to be able to, obviously, handle the stress of, of, of failure, you know? I, I couldn't imagine, you know, the, that sting of defeat if I wouldn't have been able to do that and if I wouldn't have been with such a, such a great coach and, and taken the time to kind of develop my mind of being able to handle stress. So. I love that. So would you say being a leader and you being able to handle stress, do you feel like you'd be able to show others in the work area your way that you cope with stress? Because those sound like pretty good ways Absolutely. that you manage. So do you think that's something you'd be able to do? Absolutely, 100%. I, I definitely do want to be a leader and just help help everyone around me build, build a good environment, be a part of, build, build relationships with the team and, and help everybody know that they have more to give, that everybody, everybody can, can achieve. Everybody has so much more potential than they think. I think and what we all think and just bring that mindset to everybody. All right, I love that. Okay, so with you selling our merchandise and our tools, do you feel like you're a great communicator and like you have top-notch speaking skills? Um, I know that you said you did a little bit of that and then with your team you had to put on the show for everybody. So if so, give me an example of how you applied them outside of just your team. Right, for sure. I think a lot of the opportunities where I've been able to express my communication it is at school. Okay. And Throughout my classes, I, I mentioned I mentioned some earlier, but for one of my classes, I had to give a full speech about just simply who I am, and it was a it was a very cool opportunity, and it helped me it helped me be able to speak in front of a crowd, and it helped prepare me to not be nervous when speaking in front of a crowd, and not only that, just just learning different models of communication, trying to stay away from words like like and um and, and different things like that. So I think my communication skills are, are very strong and I've, I've learned a lot through my studies at college so far and I'm excited to keep getting better at them for sure. I love that you're applying those skills and I hope to see that you know if you do get in this position that you'll be able to apply them professionally as far as speaking is applying. Um, tell me a little bit about your time at the University of Michigan University. Yeah, for sure. I have completely enjoyed my time so far. Um, again, I'm getting a major in Communications and a minor in construction management. Mm -hmm. I do, I do have some uh, some sort of desire for construction because I have worked, I have done pool building, and I have. Last summer I was on a striking crew, and but there always comes in a point with that construction where every day I'm waking up my back is hurting me, <laughs> and I'm kind of regretting going to work the next day. And you know I don't want to I don't want to be in that construction lifting lifting heavy blocks my whole life doing a bunch of hard manual labor. Obviously, I, would, I, I, I feel like I could be able to do that, but it's not. I don't want to be 30 with back pain, so this job definitely definitely keeps me in, in that way too. So. Take a step back. Okay, I love that. All right. Um, other than us being a leading biomedical company, what can you tell me about our company that you found or that makes it stand out to you among other companies? Yeah, for sure. I think one of the things that I found was just the way 
you guys put uh, the people who want to work for you in a position in which mm -hmm. you give them, you have, you are selling great products, you're selling products that people want to represent, okay. you're putting us in a position by giving us all the information on these products to go out and, and be the best version of ourselves. And I think one thing that I'm also looking forward to in, in the company and that I, I think you guys definitely offer is is still along those lines of just being put in a position to use my strengths and use another person's strengths to all benefit the company. So, yeah, I would say that. All right. Um, do you have any more questions for me? Or do you have any questions for me at all? Um, I guess just, so the next steps, would you, you wanna, should I email you or should I be expecting an email or a call or anything like that? Yes, so okay. what will happen is we will reach out to you within your email. Um, you'll also be getting a phone call within the next two to five business days um, from our rep that's working. Um, they will let you know um, about um, the next process and pick um, paperwork and all those things and then uh, we'll go from there. So um, yeah, thank you for applying for this position. Um, I love all the skills that you have brought for me today um, and everything that you have to offer. So, thank you. Absolutely, I appreciate the opportunity. Okay, real quick, we got a. Uh